Well, some parents in the Stillwater School District are trying to stop a proposal that would close three elementary schools. The district is planning to shut down the schools beginning in 2017. District officials say that the schools are no longer efficient to operate because of their low enrollment. But parents have been very vocal against the proposal and have even created a website hoping to stop it. John Lortzen was in Stillwater today and talked with people on both sides of the issue, and he joins us now. Hi, John. Hi, Amelia. Yeah, it really comes down to parents wanting these schools to stay open because of small class sizes and a comfortable learning environment. But the school district says they've studied the pros and cons, and they think this proposal would be beneficial across the district. We were devastated. Lindsay Nelson and Krista Thomas each have children that attend Withrow Elementary School, along with Marine and Oak Park Heights. It's one of the schools the district is hoping to close. Closing these schools really does not leave a lot of options for parents. The two women are among nearly 1,500 parents who have signed a petition to stop what's being called the bold proposal. They believe taking hundreds of Stillwater students out of their current schools and moving them into larger schools and larger classrooms would have negative results. Lower standardized test scores, lower academic performance, uh, higher dropout rates, higher rates of school violence and bullying. We wouldn't have brought it forward unless we thought it was the best. While parents say they learned of the proposal recently, Superintendent Denise Pontrelli says it's been a part of district conversation for 20 years. She says the district has received their own support from parents. And she says Marine and Withrow are rare and that they are two of the smallest schools in the Twin Cities. Smaller schools are awesome opportunities for our kids to learn and grow, but they're also very rare. And part of why they're very rare is because they're not very efficient to operate. Pontrelli says growth in the south half of the district is another reason for closing the schools. But Nelson says she thought a $97 million bond that taxpayers approved last year would help keep the schools open. We feel misled. We feel kind of slighted by this. Superintendent Pontrelli says the bond money that was passed will help with some student relocation, including building a new elementary school in the southern part of the district. There will be a community meeting on Thursday evening at City Hall, followed by public hearings later this month. A final vote could take place on February 11th, Amelia. All right, John, thank you.